and how are you getting in front of people in front of people was it a lot of like new direct mail leads yeah people that were responding that's the, that's the only way I was, yeah yeah is that still leads. the current way yeah and it works it works it works real well they fill out a form yeah you know so rocket science yeah. difficult <laughs> please please help me <laughs> exactly please you know. please run <laughs> so people still can't sell them though no why, why were you able to overcome any objections on the front end okay developing you, rapport connecting with clients was that being in just sales and business before yeah you yeah. just knew okay they, they, they don't mean this crap right well you gotta you gotta you gotta learn how to identify with people and i don't care what nationality or what person is you you have to get good at knowing who your client is yes and knowing how to how to connect with them that they feel comfortable that they know that if something happens that um you know you, they're in good hands yes so that was one thing that that i took pride in i didn't care where you was from or, or where what college you went to what degree yep. you had or it, it, i was going to find a way to find that that common ground what was some of the things do you have some go-to's that, that you can share that you do to really find common ground pretty quick with potential prospects uh listen <laughs> yeah i think people why is that so hard people talk too much yeah the gift of gab is actually a curse yeah the you heard of, it here first yes people talk too much yeah you know they they want to hey i'm i'm I just got my license. I, you know, I want, I want, I want to, I want you to know how smart I am, right? And just talk, <laughs> talk, 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 and you know, really not asking the right questions yes. to listen to what the client is telling you to then solve their need. Yes. You know. So. Can you break that habit if you find a new rep that just won't shut up? If they're coachable. Yeah. If they're teachable. Are you honest with them? Like, hey, I love you. Yes. You talk too much. Yeah. Oh, you absolutely. You hurt yourself. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I have no problem. Um, so if you need an honest coach and somebody to help you, apparently this is your dude, man. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And you got to you be coachable. Like, So you guys are law watching. Um, if you don't, if you think you know it all and you don't, can't learn from anybody else and you aren't willing to put in the work, this ain't your dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not either, by the way. <laughs> right? Well, because it's it's ego, right? If you have ego, you're edging God out, okay? Ah. And you're and you're coming. I've in never thinking, heard that. Say that again, I, Dylan. Have you ever heard that? Edging God out. Ego, edging God, God out. out. Yeah. I've never heard that. That's good. Yeah. So you're edging God Boom. out as far as um, as far as understanding that this is a new concept, a new process. Yep. That you're learning and um, uh to to relate to people in this industry is a certain thing certain tools that you have to learn certain skills yes and um you got to be coachable you got to have thick skin yes i come from you know the school to hard knocks so um, let's talk about that wh wh where was that school at <laughs> that's the streets of pasadena <laughs> california <laughs> I didn't, I didn't graduate with, with a degree or, or a summa cum laude. Yeah. I didn't do all that. It was, it was the streets of hard knocks and yeah. a lot of uh, hanging with the wrong crowd and, and things like that and getting into a lot of trouble. Yeah. But, uh, but over the time I've learned and progressed and found people to help me, you know, mentors who didn't know they were mentors at the time. Yes. That, that, that molded me to who I am today. So, mm. and what were some of the things they taught you that, that you, cause you, you, you listen, as you said earlier, but you listen really well. Like there, there's no ego with you. You're one of the most humble guys for, for earning, you know, the money you make and how well you do. You, 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 you are possibly the most humble guy we've ever had in the office, by the way. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. It's a, it's a super compliment. It really is. Yeah. Um, well, it, it, it came from a lot of, uh, making a lot of mistakes um, I wasn't always like this, yep. you know, I was, I had an ego at, at a point mm. and, uh, I realized that in order to get to where I need to get to where I was looking at people that are successful, like yourself, you know, a certain, you got to carry yourself a certain way and, and be grateful for what people, you know, like I, I felt entitled a lot back in the day. Wow. Right. And now I don't feel entitlement anymore. Mm. So I feel I need to be giving rather than trying to receive. Got it. Right. And that's kind of what's been humbling me over, over the last five years, actually. You know, um, yeah, I was at a point where I was doing very well and then life happens. Mm -hmm. Right. 
and it just continues. You know, I've continued to go through that over time. So now I, I just look at things a lot differently, you know, um, but, but I'm blessed to be in the position that I'm in and be yeah. able to help, you know, learn from people like yourself. Like, like, Thanks, like <clears throat> somebody of my statue or my, not my statue, my age to wouldn't be comfortable taking advice from a younger person. Right. Cause You're it's right. like, I know more than you. Right. But in the grand scheme of things, you really do too. Okay. But For now sure. it's like, no, I, I should be open because things are changing very rapidly, right? Yeah. The world's changing. It's not the way it was back in the 80s and yes. 90s. Things are different. So I need to learn yes. the new way of things are going. So I'm always learning what can I do and then just appreciate the people that you surround yourself with. So. Mm. That's good. That's good. Um, what's the, what's the, some of the more popular questions that you get asked um, from new agents or struggling agents out there that are, considering joining your team or they're on your team or they're new to the business. I mean, what's some of the top things that, that they're wondering that you can help alleviate and share? Can I do this? Yeah. Um, That's good. What does work for me? Right. Um, how fast, how soon, you know, um, um, is this everything that you say it is? Hmm. Right. <laughs> and is it? Uh, absolutely. It is. Uh, hands down. Yeah. And um, more actually. I think the the issue though is uh, people over promise and under deliver, yeah, yes. not setting the right expectations on the front end that it is going to be tough. Yes, you are going to get beat up. Yes, you are going to go through um, a lot of uh, failure. Yes, but but that's how you learn, and then uh, understanding that no is going to be there. You're going to get people that's going to tell you no. Yeah, but you just got to push through it. Yes, and then um, and then this is long term. This is not the instant quick fix. Uh, you know, you're going to go from zero to hero tomorrow, you know, right. it, it, it takes time. So yeah, it does. It's not an overnight success. It's that's not overnight sure. success. Why do millennials want that? I guess because they're looking at us older folks and realizing that time is not promised tomorrow. <laughs> so they want it now. They want the Ferraris and the Lambos and the big house and the jets and everything. And yeah. I mean, I don't really have a problem with that. I. I mean, if you can get it now, you can look at look at what's happening on TikTok. There's there's young kids that's, that's jumping on TikTok and and making it happen. So crazy. So I get it, but um, but but with this, this is passive legacy. Yes. Leaving income that yes. you're leaving to your family. Yes. And and really, it's understanding that it's not about the money because you can get the money and then lose it tomorrow. Yep. If you don't understand how money works, right? With this, at least you're growing yourself to the position that, that you know, you, you now know uh, uh, how to leave a legacy, how to be very prosperous, mm -hmm. and then how to, and really just be grateful for what you do have, you know, whatever that is, you know, yes. so. Yes, what's your uh, ultimate goal with all this? Man, my ultimate goal is, is really to help people understand financial literacy Mm. help them uh, realize the world that we're in is changing very fast and educate them so that they can make the necessary changes in all aspects of health, uh, mental, mental mm -hmm. awareness, financial, and then, um, and spiritual, Gosh. you know? Yes. Um, so I'm going to use my wisdom, my expertise, um, to, to, to get that message out there to people. That's good. Yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the content. I've got a six page ebook. If you would like a free copy of the ebook, go to CodyAskins.com forward slash ebook. Okay, write that down, go on your phone. You can even grab it now and follow along. Again, CodyAskins.com, my first name, last name.com forward slash.